So I'm Dan Johnson speaking with Claire Berenger from the company that bears her name and has her whole family associated, it seems. That's great. We love that sort of thing. Now what are we looking at here? What is this product that we're looking at first, Claire? This is a new patented landing gear uh, that has been designed especially for bush planes. Okay. So it has a very, very big shock with 12 inch of travel, so for very high energy absorption. Uh, it's all made in aluminum, so with a special alloy, alloy aluminum that's really strong. It's been 3G proof tested. Uh, it's anodized to protect against corrosion. And it's also delivered pre charged, and you have a small chamber here that you can adjust between 0 and 10 psi depending on the load on your face. Uh, yeah, you have a fitting back here somewhere, yeah. and that's where you can uh, put some extra air into it. Is that what you do? Add yeah, air true. at that point? It is air. So it's an air and oil combination yeah, then? It is. Okay. So what airplane have you done this for, Claire? This one specifically has been designed for the Savage Cup. Okay. Uh, but the main purpose is going to be uh, all the Super Cubs and, and famous those bush planes in Alaska and everywhere. Yeah. So. Yeah, we're looking at the, what I always like to call big boy tires, tundra tires they're usually called. They go over rocks and rough surfaces very well, but that's great. The tire does a lot of work, but the tire doesn't do all the work. You need something else, but I'm holding a component part to it here. You can see this is similar to the part that's on the airplane. And when I was first handed this, I was, I was ready for something quite heavy and substantial. And it may be substantial, but it's not particularly heavy. So. But you've made a difference here. If I put this tube here, this would normally be where the strut is located. Excuse me, where the on, on, on many aircraft, this is where the energy absorption comes. Yeah, the you've absorbed. taken a different approach here. Why is that, Claire? It's a special kinematic uh, that allows us to provide these 12 inch of travel. Uh, and also, usually, the landing gear uh, are doing. Uh, horizontal travel and with yeah, this kind of landing sliding gear, sideways yeah and with this landing gear we provide a almost vertical vertical travel can you demonstrate that for us Claire sure ah, okay you see the line of the tires yeah so it's not deviating as much as when it would on a, yeah. when this when the strut is down here then that tire will just sort of slide out to the true, side true. which has got to be more wear on the tire but also less, less total absorption, absorption. True. So you're making this work harder, uh, even with that long travel yeah. that it has in there. I would say that a standard, very standard landing gear on bush plane has a, a travel of three inches, and we get here twelve <laughs> wow. inches. Four times as much. Four times so. much, yeah. So you should be able to land on some very rough surfaces and yeah. not have that go into the airframe, True. which is what everybody's concerned about, yeah. into the wings or into the fuselage. You keep it all buried right here. Yeah, true. And these are all components that uh, the Behringer company is making, yeah. correct? Yes, you're not buying other people's stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, we've already also in the past talked about your floating disc brake, and you're already well known for your wheels and brakes, <laughs> and many other companies, including many certified companies, yeah. are using your product. Let's, let's do a little bit of history. The Behringer company is not, you're not just a brand new company that came along in a couple of years. <laughs> yeah. So go, give me a brief history of what the company has done for us. So the company has been created in 1995 by my parents actually. Okay. And they were doing brakes for sidecars, for motorcycles, automotive. We've been working on Formula One brakes and, uh, and uh, we specialized in the aircraft in 2006. And, uh, and now you're aircraft are only now, right? Only aircraft, no yeah. more motorcycles, no yeah. more Formula One. Nope, you no still more. just watch that now. You don't yeah, uh, do it, it anymore. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good way to see it. So, okay, so it's very exciting. A dedicated airplane company, a family operation with a long history, uh, beautiful hardware, innovative products. That's all good stuff. You have a new wheel too, I believe. Yeah, Is that correct? Do. Tell us a little bit about that. But. Uh, we used to have a wheel for ultralight and LSA, and we had a bigger wheel for certified aircraft like the Cirrus or the Diamond. Right. But we didn't have the best compromise just in the middle for the two-seater bush planes like a 2,000 pounds, like Super Cubs or Cup Crafters, big Cup Crafters. So we kind of developed a 
like I said, the best compromise like with a with a lighter wheel, uh, lighter brake, and that's now perfect for this type of aircraft. All right, so Claire, we went and asked you if you could get a hold of the new wheel. Now this is the one for the the lighter end of the spectrum, but it looks a little like your certified products. There's a relationship there, is there? <laughs> Yeah, well, at the beginning we had these uh, 6 inch wheels for Ultralight and LSA, and we also had the bigger wheel, uh, the bigger 6 inch wheel for the series, the Diamond Aircraft. A wider wheel then? No, Still same, the same dimensions, okay. but stronger. I see, okay. So we were kind of missing a, a, a uh, compromise between the two, the two types. So that's what we developed here. It's a, it's a really light wheel, completely adapted for uh, like 2,000 pounds gross weight aircraft. Oh wow, really? Okay. Yeah. And again, with the uh, this has the well, I can't move it here, but this has your floating disc brake yeah. in it, which is such an innovative idea that keeps uh, both wear down and that chattery noise that sometimes happens with a disc brake. That's yeah. going to happen on this. So. Never. May I wait? May I see how heavy? Oh jeez. We thought we were asking you to do a lot of work here, but that's not very heavy for a substantial <laughs> wheel. So this can work on uh, the uh, tires like this we see here. Totally. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Well, all these products now, you are making and, and engineering and testing and all this in France, so your country of record, but you also have a U.S. facility. Tell us a little bit about what you do in the United States to serve this market. We ha we actually have a, uh, a subsidiary, Behringer Aero USA, okay. which is based in uh, Chicago. And we the have center a of the country. Big, big warehouse with uh, all, all the spare parts available and a uh, good service and support for our North America customer. And one of your family members is there too, right? Yeah, my cousin is actually <laughs> running the company right now. <laughs> so you're making this for the Savage Cup, we understand that, and it'll also work on the Cup Crafters and some others. I imagine this would be open, the door is open for other products as well, perhaps even certified aircraft? Yeah, actually, this uh, this landing gear is going to be certified for Super Cubs and even uh, more aircraft, for example. Ah, so okay. it's gonna be, it's gonna go up to 2,500 uh, pounds at the beginning. Okay, And then well. we'll see how, how the market goes. Sure, okay, but so not just, uh, the, we're glad you're always glad that you're doing the light sport and the ultralight and so forth, but also certified products up to 2,500 pounds, just to clarify all that. One thing I thought was very innovative about this, because when you talk about adding a piece of equipment, well, to any aircraft, but certainly a certified aircraft, it's kind of a big deal how it attaches. So this appears to just be bolt together, is that correct? Correct. Like all our products, we, we, we try to make it easy for the customers to install. So we actually kept the same attachment points than the original landing gear. Ah, okay. So it takes like one day of labor just to replace it's a bolt and conversion. Well, that's very helpful because, especially in the world of certified aircraft, it can get quite expensive to make these changes unless you accommodate that. So you're having to go out and investigate the, uh, this is often called yep. a center box where the landing gear pivots against and you're having to go out and measure and take note of that and then design your gear to fit that. Yeah, true. All great yeah. stuff. So I saw on, you know, on some of your literature here, you've got quite a testing arrangement where you can push the tire down into the floor with hydraulics and drag it back yeah. and forth and really <laughs> stress it. And also, a, a, I think it's an electric motor powered very heavy cylinder that you use to spin the wheel up and test your brake products. Sure. So kind of torture testing it's sometimes yeah, called. Yeah. Okay, very <laughs> good. Where can we find you on the web and get more information about Behringer products? You can go on our website on www.behringer-aero.com and you can also visit our Facebook page. And you have interesting stuff on your Facebook page too. I've we learned are. to start going there. So. Great stuff. I have more about uh, Behringer Aero and many of their videos you can find as well as, well as many other things about affordable aviation on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Claire Behringer and myself here at AirVenture.